Hey guys, if you want to achieve this look that you see here in the video, stay tuned for more. What's up, YouTube? It's your fave Aquarius. And I'm back with another for your mother. Hey. So I know I'm back with another video. How the fuck y'all doing today? Cause me, I'm doing fine. Okay. And nothing. So today's video is going to be a wig tutorial. Ooh, sis. This is about to get cute, okay? I'm about to put this bad boy on, okay? But before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Mm, make sure you do that, okay? We cannot forget to do that. After you do that, we shall continue. I've gotten a lots and lots of questions on how I install my wigs and whatnot, whatnot. So I was just like, okay, sis, let's, let's get on here and show them how to put on as a wig so they can go be somebody and they go smack them tonight. So first things first, you gotta have a wig, of course, duh. Um, this wig that I'm going to be using today is an 18 inch um i got 18 inches because i'm short and that's it from royalme.com i'm telling you sis their wigs are bomb i love them you can wear glueless whatnot whatnot um they do come with like a little bra strap thing that straps right here um i took it out because my head's really big and i ordered the wrong size cap so my head's so big it just fits snug <laughs> so we got this wig. This wig has its own fake scalp, so you really don't need to wear a wig cap. But me, I have a low hairline, so I will be having to put on a wig cap today. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. No problem, no problem. So, um, why don't you go ahead and uh, give this video a thumbs up for your girl, okay? And uh, we can get right into it. So, step one, or step two, I forgot. Next step, is have freshly washed um and blow dried hair you know so you got a clean thing to work on um me um i just got off work about 30 minutes ago so um this is my uh after the day hair um got rained on hair i wore head wraps for three days hair and a girl barely been combed hair so with that being said go ahead and uh grab a detangler of some sort and uh detect out detangle that out okay so after you detangle your hair you want to get ready for braiding now i normally do about six braids um but i don't have time for that i don't feel like doing that like i just worked 12 hours and this is just about to be a quick one two but get the job done type ordeal um so hold on let me brush my edges out because I almost forgot about that okay so after all of our edges are pushed back then we get ready for braiding now I said I normally do six braids but I don't feel like it today I'm just going to be doing four braids okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and part my hair down the middle okay after we have it parted down the middle I'm gonna take one section and put it up the utensils that you're gonna need today. You're going to need a rat tail comb of some sort. You're going to need your adhesive. A lot of people like to, to use got to be free spray, the yellow bottle of got to be whatever. I like to use a black bottle of got to be glued. I like to use this bottle because it's like softer on my forehead. You know, the other got to be was very hard. 
also if you need to tint your lace um i probably really don't need to tint my lace we'll see but um if so you can get the sally hansen um airbrush legs um i got this in medium glow um and you just lightly squirt that off and you can put it on now you know to let your lace dry while you're braiding up to you and you're going to need some alcohol to wipe your hairline okay let's get into braiding so you got your two halves here um you got one tied up and then you take this half and just go ahead and part it part that half in half if that makes sense okay, so then take this half and put it in the pony and then we just go ahead and Try to braid as tight as you can so your braids are flat. That's why you should do more braids so you can have a flatter surface. But like I said, I ain't got time for that. Okay, after you get done with the braid, just take a rubber band. And you can tie it at the end until you get finished. All right, this is what the first braid is looking like. <clears throat> Not perfect at all. It did get a little louder in here because your girl got hot. Had to cut the fan on, okay? But let's continue. What you got on my phone, homie? So after we got all of our dookies in, you know, I try to get them flat enough. You know, they're gonna smush down a little bit more once I put the wig cap on. So you can use a wig cap or you can use pantyhose. I mean, I chose to use pantyhose because um, I didn't have time to go to hair stores and actually look for um, a wig cap. So I just went to Walmart and got some freaking stockings and Normally they have my color, but they didn't today, so I had to go with a nude. So, what you're going to do is stretch it out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take all my braids, put them together, and then use a rubber band to tie them all as one. Okay, so once I have them all tied up, you wanna take some 91% isoprol alcohol. And you can put some on a cotton swab, some on a toilet paper, put some on a napkin, or you can put some on a sock. And then you take it and you wipe your hairline, okay? Clean it off, get all that like residue from any products that you got going on up there. Take your stocking, put it on. Make sure everything is pushed back. Wow. This is what it's looking like. And then you're gonna have like this little hangy thing. You can like leave it there if you want, you know, or you can take it off. You could just cut it or like me, I'm gonna tie a knot. And I'm gonna tie a knot and then cut it because um, if I just cut it at the top, there's gonna be a big hole and then my braids are gonna be messed up. We don't want that. Then you just do a final pull back, okay? You wanna make sure this is like not too close to your edges because when you cut, you're gonna be wanting to cut this, you know? Okay, so after we got, um, after we got like the wig cap on, you wanna get the got to be, squirt a little on your finger. Let me pick y'all back up and come closer to the light. So once you got your little dab on your finger, you wanna go ahead and just like trace your hairline. Push sides back. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I skipped a step. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm like retarded today. 
But before you put the actual glue on your hairline, you should go and cut a little piece of your ear out. Not your ear. <laughs> go and cut a little piece of your wig cap out around the ear so you can get your ear through. That way your sides, make sure they're pulled down. That way they're flat as possible on your head. And that way when you go to put the got to be on, it's a flat foundation, okay? So let's try that again. Trace your hairline. Girl, you gonna have yourself a little slayed wig, okay? Okay, layer two, very thin. Okay, so now we're going to get the blow dryer and um, dry this so it can go by faster. Okay, so you just wanna start by like cutting down the middle a little bit. Okay, so my side did come up a little bit here, but oh well, I don't care. Oh my God. Okay. And then I'm just gonna like take the back and just like cut that off. And then honestly, I'm just gonna tuck the other side in. That way my braids can have something protecting them in the back. <laughs> but this is pretty good for me, honestly. I'm not gonna do anything else. Um, you can take like a little bit of free spray or got to be blue and just go around them if you really want it to. So then I'm going to take my um, airbrush legs and spray a little bit on this just random makeup brush I got. I'm gonna lightly spray it and then take it and dab my hair line and start blending. Okay, so once you have that done, you should look somewhat like this something close once you got all that done and it's time to put the wig on get y'all got to be glued so I like to tie the hair on the wig back so it don't get like all up in my way What if my edges started back here? Okay, so then you take your got to be glue and just put it at the front of your hairline. Right on there. You gotta move quick though because your wig cap could start coming up because it's re wet. Okay, so once you got that like laid down, you gotta hold it a little bit. At least I do, cause I'm extra. 
So once I got the wig in a spot that I like it, I get my scarf and tie it around my edges. This is just how I do it. If you see somebody else do it different and you like it that way, do it that way, whatever, but this is how I do it. I just hold it like this a little bit so I can have some pressure. Okay, if I got little hairs in the way, because I'm just gonna comb them out when I'm done. But then I just take my dryer. Okay, so once we have that all done, it's time to lay our edges. Now, my edges is a little crusty from all this damn got to be I just used, but we gonna make some shape. Don't use a lot because you don't want your edges to be crunchy. So push it back in the hair if you need to, but just get enough so you can fleek it. Fleek and deek it, you know what I'm saying? Get my little spray bottle and wet my sideburns. Wet my sideburns. They'll curl up eventually. Eventually. Now a lot of people be having hot combs. Um, I don't have a hot comb. I just use what I got and I have a crimper. And I just use this crimper. I can use it because like the back of this plate is open and um, it's like straight heat so I can use that instead and then I'm gonna do a middle part it's already there I already always wear a middle part with this wig anyways this in half and partly detangle And then I'm just gonna get these ends wet. Not the whole head though, because I have to um, put the hot iron up there. Okay, so now we just take. So if you want a flatter like surface, you should kind of like separate it just kind of in smaller sections and then take your hot comb or whatever you have and make it flat.
and as you can see this is coming up annoying the side flaps always come up but as you can see this side is flatter than this side okay and so you just want to do the same thing to the other side Okay, so after you lay your edges and get it all wet and you get everything set, that is how you install a wig. Okay, and I mean, it's not perfect, but it's doable, you know, for a couple days, you know, quick, quick whatever um you can still kind of like see where my wig cap is but that's because it lifted a little bit when um i put the got to be around my hairline and normally it don't be doing that so you know bear with me but i mean this is this is pretty cool for the most part you know you know I like it so anyways thank you guys for watching this video make sure before you end this video that you give it a thumbs up and let me know what you want to see more of anytime okay hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys next time when I come back on the screen Ciao, ciao.